Matthew, who is a member of the U.S. Air Force, stationed in Qatar. See more better here with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, when I install polarized gray lenses with the Zeiss white mirror into your Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer, color 622, the matte black rubber in the 52 eye size. I'm going to take everything out of the original packaging as Ray-Ban sends it to me, your Italian leather Ray-Ban case. Your frame, Ray-Ban cleaning cloth with a junk mail because you just don't get enough of that in your regular mailbox. So they got to put it in your eyeglass frames now. Of course, they all come with a little, oop, it just fell off a plastic sleeve that goes over your left temple during shipping when it is being shipped from Italy. And I will put that on there when I ship to you. And of course, this is the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, color 622, matte black rubber, 52 eye size, 18 bridge, 145 temple length. It is the, as I mentioned, the matte black rubber. There is a shiny black, but we'll get to that later. Service members are only allowed to wear certain colors as it was explained to me. And so I will read that off. This is a sunglass. It comes with the classic Ray-Ban G15 sunglass lenses that I will take out. The heavy glass breakable lenses of which you will be receiving that you literally could pop in if you ever wear contacts. You can put these back in there. But I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Pull the shape up on the computer. You are Secret Agent 2541. So years from now I can cut lenses for your frame and mail them right to your home. Although, honestly, I could use mine as a template. And I've got the size 55 up here that was broken that I can use if anyone ever needs 55 eye size lenses. And of course, my shop glasses, another pair of 52. But let me hit the start button. A little stylus is gonna pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame that I offer, you will receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. Matthew, you know you need some prescription. So, that is the shape that I'll be cutting. Let's move on to the next screen. I have to enter your pupillary distance, which is 60. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button until we get to 30, which is half of 60, 30 per eye. I'm going to raise the optical center height up to 22. Let me mark that. 22. Now, I just need to get your lenses prepped. This is your right lens. At least I hope it is. It's got the R on there. So I'm going to come down here to the lensometer, my Marco 101 lensometer. Turn the axis wheel to 90 which corresponds with the axis of your astigmatism of your right eye. Start the power drum off at zero. Make sure everything is in the center. We're going to now move it to minus four and a quarter. Put it in over. Let me move that so it doesn't fall. Put that in there until the spherical component of your lens comes into view first, the four and a quarter. Check your astigmatism correction. Four and a quarter, 550. Oops, let's turn that over. Um, someone's prescription was on there. It was new time. Four and a quarter, 150 is 575. That is perfect. Let me put three dots on your lenses. And if those are too light, let me darken those for you so you can see at home. And again, that is the right lens. Put that up there. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Turn it to 93. Put the power drum on minus 350. Put your left lens in. They actually engrave with an engraving tool. So when they put the mirror coating on there, they know whose lens this is. That's pretty cool. At least to me and my little brain. My little understanding of how the big picture looks. Get everything lined up in there perfectly. Find the geometric center of the lens. Minus 5, that is perfect. Minus 350 and minus 150 makes minus 5. Just like to verify this is the left lens. Put three dots on there. Darken those. I'm just curious. Can you see that? Let me see some of them. Don't worry, that was not your lens. That was the platform that your lens sits on. We'll put the right lens back on there. Let's go ahead and darken these. Darken these. 
and again that is the left if you guys missed any of that let me recap <laughs> feel free to use that bad joke man I got some dust on here I guess this is going to happen around the edge. The reason why I put those three black dots on there. Ooh, check that out. Ooh, polarized lenses. So, polarized lenses. Let's, when you line them up like that, that you can see through the lens. This is how you can test to see if any lens is polarized. As long as you have one lens that you know has been verified as polarized. You hear the term polar opposites. You rotate one of the lens 90 degrees. It blocks all the light from coming through. 180 90 so that's how you can test if they're that but when it's over the screen you get some really weird effects now when you look out you don't see anything when you look in through them this way you get that polarization effect pretty cool special effect but the reason why i put those three dots on there it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly now again polarized block any horizontal glare computer screens lcd is a glare surface so that's why you are getting that effect on the computer screen but very few people look at them again when you look this way out of the lens you don't get any of that it's only when you look through the front of the lens that way so don't freak out people stay with me stay with me there's enough panic going around around the coronavirus and excuse me if I cough tonight I just got off a Chinese cruise ship and I feel is it warm in here to y'all I feel like I'm burning up but I told everyone I've been dying to go on a Chinese cruise <laughs> so, actually Hey, time out. I shouldn't even joke about that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, so, this is a block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. This is what's going to hold it in place in the lathe. So, I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side. We're going to put this one onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now, that silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to attach itself to something magnetical there in the arm and now I will get these three dots lined up where they're supposed to go the blue cross is the geometric center of your frame if you were to measure vertically and horizontally just like the crosshairs of a scope we are there but instead your eye is just above that and inset and the orange crosshairs and so I measure both vertically and horizontally hit that button the arm comes down places the block onto the right lens and you know what I felt a wiggle 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 take that off let's put that back on there flip that back over to right and I'm gonna hold that in place a little bit better I am a perfectionist and these lenses take at least a week because of the mirror coating Matthew is making a lot of sacrifices to serve in the US military the least I can do is take that extra 10 seconds and make sure everything is perfect he keeps me safe at night I'm going to keep his vision safe with perfected vision. 60, 60, same optical center height. We don't have to move anything. The left side has mirrored the right. I know I'm pointing to the right side of the screen and then back calling this the, the left side and that the right. But it was, it really is. Guys, believe me, come on. I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. You can trust me. Get everything lined up in there perfectly. Hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens, which did not move. Now this is the edger. This is what costs forty thousand dollars. It weighs two hundred pounds. I recommend everyone putting it out in the middle of a desert. Then you can cut your own lenses at home, and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you. Actually, this is thirty thousand dollars. This is ten thousand combined. They make uh, forty thousand. This, my little stylus, I can use my finger. <laughs> no, but let's go ahead and use it. They threw that in. So I'm going to wake up the computer. I'm going to send the information from here over to here. Job ID number two five four one. 2541 or as I like to call it installment 2541 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America and Qatar so make sure you stick stick around and watch that last 330 million volume series because spoiler alert there's going to be a surprise ending you're going to hate that you missed it and it's not going to be a Starbucks cup on the counter although what could I put on the counter I'm going to have this on the counter I'll get to this in a minute but these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. But you know what I am going to do? I'm going to move this from auto to manual because I'm going to manually move the bevel on this one. 
press that on there firmly and place the magnet. Now it's going to do a job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. I'm going to hit the green button. Look how that nice clean door comes down. I cleaned it right before this video. But the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it is large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around measuring the thickness of the lens at every point that if it were to automatically place the bevel it would do so but now i'm going to override it i'm going to move the bevel this is the front of the lens this is if it were to do it automatically front of the lens back of the lens a percentage where i could do 50 percent i could move the bevel either way 50 percent i could move it it's going to confuse you even more opposites i can move it forwards or I can move it backwards. Now, I'm talking about the bevel, not the lens itself. If the bevel was on the back of the lens, that would force the lens forward in the frame. I'm actually going to put it on the front of the lens, forcing it backwards, so you don't get a little groove with the mirror. So, And this is one, if I were to do the base curve, which is 4.30. I measure the curvature of the frame. I order lenses to fit that curvature. I'm going to do it on the front. It starts at 0 0.10. Now, if you keep your eye on that button, that number is going to stay that one. That one's going to change. It stays constantly. So we could have 4.67 millimeters out the back, but I'm actually going to tap the minus button. Make sure it's one millimeter all the way around. That's how I like to cut sunglasses. Leave that left lens alone. We're going to go back over to here, hit the green start button. The wheel, cutting wheel starts up. The lens gets into position. Water sprays in the background. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens during the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto the lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you will soon see beginning to form. Now, plastic, high-index plastic, and Tribex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is high, highly impact resistant. They are virtually unbreakable. It's the same material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, there in, in Qatar, in the Middle East, right across from Iran, right across from the, the Straits of Hormuz. Very dangerous area now, but this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays as I just alluded to. Now, if you notice, your lens is completely flat all the way around the edges. It's now going to measure again its own double check system to see where to place that one millimeter bevel and then it's going to drop down onto the bevel wheel now you have the mirror coating on the front of the lens you have which costs a hundred dollars more it comes with its own zeiss duravision back surface anti-glare so you which normally costs 69.99 so essentially you're getting the mirror for 30 bucks so you get both the mirror and the anti-glare coating in one purchase so now it's getting the bevel wheel, the knife-like edge, so it'll stay inside the bevel of the frame. So I want to go back and allude something. Matthew was telling me that, again, he needed a pair of prescription sunglasses that can satisfy, that can handle the long sunny days of Qatar and would satisfy the Air Force's new AFI 36-2903 dress and appearance regulation. Let me just start on this. The new regulation will be worn in the manner for which they are made. Eyeglasses and sunglasses, here I'm going to use my stylus, will not be worn around the neck or on top, back of the head exposing, hanging on the uniform. Eyeglasses and sunglasses may have conservative ornamentation of non-prescription sunglasses or eyeglasses. Frames may be black, brown, material may be gold or silver wire brand name glasses may be worn with a small logo on the frames or lenses logo may contrast with the frame color and lens high wraparound sunglasses may be worn conservative clear anyway he says seymour i really appreciate the video i wrote a little bit about the above 
run with it as you may. I also gave you the Air Force regulation. You can go crazy with the amount of options you can choose in the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps. No one really gets prescription sunglasses made by well-known manufacturers. We're used to military-issued sunglasses that really suck. Someone else wrote that. That is not the ma management's opinion. Matthew is just quoting somebody. That's not his opinion. Ignore that, Air Force. A lot of us like Oakley sunglasses, so really hit it will hit on that one. Take a picture of my sunglasses outside in the sun and under the shade. I did that with him to help pick which color he wanted here. He got the mirror white versus the silver. The silver is just more reflective. This one's just a little bit more conservative, so he thought he could appease the generals that way. Same with the gold. I have a bronze. Same like the, this is a muted version of the silver. This is the muted version of the gold. So he was not allowed green, blue, strong blue, or red. So, okay, let's see if the lens fits first time around or if I have to take it down some more. Dry everything off. Wipe off all the optical sawdust, also known as schwarf. Pop this into the frame, tuck it in. Oh, I love this frame, it pops in so easily. And look at that, you have a little bit of edge thickness there because I moved it back. But I just didn't want a white ring, which happens to sunglasses around the edges. And of course the lens is dark and the color of the frame, so nobody's going to see that anyway. Flip that over to L, put the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or tonight I'm calling it the Matthew. Which, by the way, I think is the coolest name in the world. Just saying, just saying, Seymour Better will admit that Matthew, pretty damn cool name, means gift from God. So, hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens again is going to be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side of the frame now. Going around again, and then it's going to ask me permission to manually override the computer. We're still at one millimeter front surface. Green start, yes. To finish his email, it could be very well drum up some good business for you. I've been bragging about you to a few guys here, and I'm looking forward to seeing the glasses made. P.S. This is very important. I'd love to get this out there to everybody. Tell my parents, Donnie and Joan, that I miss them. Tell my beautiful and hot wife, Audrey, that I love her to the moon and back. So again, Donnie and Joan, I know it's not easy for you, for Matthew to be serving overseas, but he's part of a great cause. Audrey, I know it's even harder on you, but he, he's doing something special, not just for you, but for the rest of America, the rest of the world, and we cannot be too thankful for that. Add to my sticker collection. We're gonna come back down here, turn the axis wheel back to 90. Is the PD still on there? Yes, yes it is. Put it in over that. And I am getting minus four and a quarter, one tick mark away from four, going towards five. That's because you are very nearsighted. Your prescription reads minus four and a quarter. Everything in the optical world is, goes in quarter diopters. So starting at zero, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, you're on the 17th rung of a ladder. Now, with your glasses off, everything is much too large. You can count the rings, your fingerprints on your finger. That ship sailed for me a long time ago. But that's why your lenses minify the minus sign. Plus signs magnify. Your lenses minify. Now, once the image is the correct size, you still have one and a half diopters. Six steps added to the 17. You're on the 23rd rung of a ladder now. And you have one curve this way, minus four and a quarter. You have an even steeper curve here, an additional 150. And it's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knob. We're going to turn that fine two knob, a straight line is zero to 90 to 180. Just like the wings of a plane in the Air Force, we're going to bank that plane to the 90th meridian. 270 for those of you keeping score at home, 90 vertically, 270 below, 0, 180. You got it? 45 degrees here, 135 here. Don't make me do any more math because I never use those. But let's check that second curvature now. And we end up at minus 575, one tick mark away from 6. So, 
Now this frame, the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, sells for $150 any size, any color. There's $52, $55, and $58. The polarization, gray polarized brown or green, adds $119.99. The mirror, and again, available in si how many colors? Eight. The white mirror, even though that's a muted silver. Bronze, which is a muted gold. The green, a muted blue, bright blue, and red, which is a reddish orange yellow adds 100 for a total of 369.99 tax-free I'm in North Carolina North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device there is no tax on medical devices a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax I do not I also offer free shipping anywhere in the US and its territories to military bases so Matthew pays nothing for shipping as well Ooh, look a little optical sawdust oh I love it when it comes off in one piece just like lint out of the dryer trap. Oh, it's going to be a good day. So, I used to just drop that on the floor. My wife hates it when I do that. And since he mentioned his lovely and hot wife, Audrey, out of respect for mine, I'm going to keep the place nice and clean. Now, the next video, I'm going to drop stuff on the floor. But for now, I'm playing the part of the, of the nice husband. So, now... I'm not reaching across the frame. I rotate it to the side I'm working on to have closest to me. Feet and shoulders different. Elbows, arms bent at a right angle. Elbows touching my sides. Tuck it in at the outside corners first. Press down the nose. And it snaps right off. Off comes that. Use my hand to prove drying method. Throw that back in there. Add to my sense of accomplishment sticker. I love that. I'm going to have a double wide coffin. And I'm going to be buried with this in the coffin. You know, some people look at their bank account, but I keep these out of the landfill. And it's just a reminder as the day goes on, everything that I've accomplished. But I'm not stopping there. Let me finish this and I'll show you what I'm accomplishing next. There's a reason why I was reading all of that out loud. Turn the axis wheel to 93. Your prescription minus 350 minus 150. I'm dialing this in until I get three straight lines. Minus 350. Again, 150 astigmatism correction we end up at minus five so your PD 60 let's see if I can even do this on the can okay, how can I do this with the mirror you just gonna have to take my word for it place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens and we hold it up to the left lens we're getting 60 millimeters can you see that through a white background because now you can't read the PD stick this but that's made right let me check the optical centers at 22 to the middle of the bottom of the frame Perfect. Perfect. Now, this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. and its territories, which service members in Qatar can take advantage of. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance the one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different. I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Just like Matthew, Matthews think alike. I've got a Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfair as well, size 52. I'm wearing color 6053, the blue crystal, because I'm almost always wearing a blue shirt with a pattern. And plus the crystal starts to highlight, accentuate my wisdom highlights that I have growing above my ears. But color 6052 is the matte black with crystal. 6053, the 6054 is a Bordeaux wine color with crystal. Of course, this frame comes in close to 50 colors. But this is my best-selling color. If you don't know what to get, get the matte black because it just does not show fingerprints, body oil, sweat, smudges, makeup. That's the nice thing about the matte black, either in my style with the crystal or this one. The shiny black does show fingerprints and smudges. But I'm going to finish with this. Flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do. The neither temple is askew. Now, getting back to his email and what the military allows, I'm starting to design my own frames. There's going to be a frame so identical to this one 
it's going to be same thing but it's going to have a cross right here so you can start to anyone watching this video in 100 days the website will be live there it's called christian eyewear there's going to be a cross right here and a cross on the temple tip and instead of like ray-ban 2132 it's going to say john 316 which is the first frame the second frame i have will be philippians 314 they're all going to come with a magnetic clip on polarized clip on so you can wear these these clear lenses and when you go, want to go outside boom the whole frame front is going to clip on there in the future i can have a cross right here that's the magnet that it'll clip onto but for now it's just going to be there and there i'm going to start off a little bit simple but that's christian eyewear you can look for that today is look at me working late 8 19 p.m wednesday march 11th let's just say by this april may june by the end of june early july independence day christian eyewear will be available and then here's a neat thing my wife who swears she's not creative she's a data analyst she crunches numbers all day she said well if you can put a cross on the side can you put a pink ribbon because her family's been devastated by breast cancer and to show support so yes i'm coming out with a line called cancer ribbon eyewear and that website's already up he started building that one it's going to have a pink ribbon here and a pink ribbon on the temple tip and the model number will say pray for the cure now having said that i'm not stopping i came up with an idea for military members law enforcement and first responders and then i got a, a call from a service member in singapore who wanted the oakley 9014 gas can color 57 which is the thin blue line collection now they have a few more that have just a thin blue line on them but this oakley has the black and white u.s flag hopefully you guys can see that i just can't tell what you're seeing um, with the thin horizontal blue line on there this is from the standard issue the si collection all of my frames will have the black and white u.s flag with the blue line on them every single frame i was actually shocked when i looked this color up and um that oakley stole my idea but they only put it on one frame so all of my frames it won't have the o it's going to have a rectangular flag just like the u.s flag it will not be reversed i'm going to have the the stars on this side on both sides just like it is here i'm going to have it here which means the reason why they did that is one emblem on both sides they just rotate it and it does that it's a cheaper way to produce it i want a right flag and a left flag so that it's always left to right with the the bar on the every single frame there's going to be one very close to this i'm going to have the same thing for actually i got one close to it do i have it here um i'm going to have it for the oakley deck cord which are safety glasses and i'm going to be doing safety frames with that on there um i might even do a brown line for the sheriff's department someone i just had a local police officer tell me to do a yellow line for tow truck and other first responders with vehicles they they use the yellow line i'd never heard of that before but you will see that in the coming years it's called tbl eyewear thin blue line eyewear and i will have all the frames available with that and i'm still going to have some with a even brighter u.s flag but hopefully he can wear the sunglasses with that on the side many of them may may just happen to look like oakley's the airdrop and other things just may um and you can definitely believe it's going to look like this frame because i can pop the lenses out of mine and put it right into the christian eyewear the the thin blue line eyewear and i'm just getting started because i realized i'm just a cover band i'm putting lenses in other people's songs and i realized hey i want to write my own song so that's what i'm doing i know what sells i know what's popular i know the shapes the weight of what people like in their glasses and i'm going to mimic that and you will see very very close styles you know if you send this off to a manufacturer say copy it but if they put ray-ban on there it's a counterfeit if they put matthew then you've got your own brand so that's what i'm doing and thank you as i went off on a tangent matthew thank you for everything that you do but again if you've liked this video do just that literally like this video down below subscribe to my youtube channel you can click the bell icon so you can get future no future notifications of frame and lenses as they become available and again 
There's many colors of mirrors available. He went with the muted based on the military, the white mirror, because it's not as shiny as that. And of course, you're going to need something extremely. The nice thing about a sunglass lens, a dark lens, let's use the Ray-Ban G15. This absorbs the sun's rays. A mirror reflects it back. Now, when you look out, you've got the polarized gray with the anti-glare coating on the back surface. But a sunglass, a tinted lens absorbs the sun rays, same as polarized. A mirrored lens reflects it black, back, reflects it back, thereby making it 30% darker. Now, sunglass lenses, the mirror lenses look cool. That's just an added benefit. But they actually block more light, making them feel darker. So, but um, if, uh, yeah, I said to like the video, do all that. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions, go to the Contact Me page of the website and you can email me a question. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. Matthew, I don't know if the U.S. Air Force allow you to post surf, uh, selfies in uniform, but if you do, please hashtag me at, at free prescription lenses, and it'll go straight to my Instagram account. I would love that. Um, just do what's legal. I don't want you to get in trouble. I apologize. I'm down to the dark blue. These I passed out all my other colors. I'm having some, some really nice new ones made that have the brands of everything that I offer along with the lenses. The pictures, it's, you know, I'm going to have Zeiss, Essilor, Shamir, everything on there. This one, I used to have a lighter color blue with the black ink. And you could read it. Now they sent me a dark blue cloth and you can't read what's on there. I'm almost setting myself up for failure. I sell someone a pair of glasses and they can't read what's on my cloth. Now, if Matthew takes off his glasses, he can read that like a pro from about right here. But I do apologize until I get my new cloths in. I'm stuck having to send out that. But I also send out... As I mentioned, selfie requests in every package, but cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and lenses, but for your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, and the premium microfiber cloth that I'm sending out, as well instructions on how to care for your case, so it too will last you for years. I field test every cleaning cloth before I ship to make sure that it works. So if you get this in the mail and you see this, you see this wrinkle on there, you know that it works. You can't tell me you can't use it to clean your glasses. But again, Matthew, thank you for your service. Thank you for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer Color 622, the matte black rubber with your polarized gray lenses, back surface anti-glare, front surface Zeiss white mirror coating. And now, hopefully, everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.